Hi guys, welcome to Delora Studios. We're going to be looking at the Android notification, the compact notification uh, using the Kotlin programming language. So let's get started. Uh, I have uh, a pseudo code whereby I've already set up a uh, different uh, button to trigger. Uh, we have uh, for in the activity me uh, where we could actually uh, click on uh, multiple buttons but not at the same time uh, we could actually click on uh, uh, for, for politics for sports and for entertainment uh, depends on what kind of uh, notification you want to trigger it's just for a demo purpose uh, so let's start with the build gradle the module app where you're going to actually include your plugin uh, for kotlin android and for kotlin android extensions and uh, you need to add the implementation, which is going to point out the JetBrains, uh, Kotlin, and the STD the library, the Kotlin library itself, uh, where you're going to pick that from the Kotlin version in the project. Uh, you have that as the Kotlin version 1.3.72. So once you include that, it's just straightforward. Uh, you could add your core, the KTX, and uh, that'll be good to go. Your app compact is fine. It will out of constraint layout, express if you need to test, and J unit as well to do some unit test. So that's that. Uh, back to the activity main, uh, where we're going to just look at the layout created. We just created three buttons, one for politics, sports, and entertainment, as you can see on the right corner in the canvas over there. And uh, it's just basic, and uh, you just need to uh, trigger a click listener on that. Uh, the notify itself, uh, which is going to be uh, the layout uh, that will uh, they picked uh, the the notify when you when the, the the when you click on the notification it's going to take you down to this particular layout. Uh, you have that as just bare text view. Well, we're going to actually set uh, the data from the intent of uh, the notification to this particular text view. All right, that's fine. And then straight down to Java class. Uh, we have the two conflict classes, the, the main activity and the notify activity. Let's go through that. Uh, and achieve it. We're going to extend the app compact as usual and uh, we implement the view on clip list. Uh, you use this column to extend uh, in uh, Kotlin and uh, when you implement you don't need to add the implement keyword just use a comma view dot on click list and the system knows that you are trying to implement that. And you have the on create method where we set the content view to the activity main and you trigger the set click list now that's a function uh, where you're going to have it right in line 27, private function, and you set click listener to the three buttons, the sports, politics, and entertainment. And uh, you pass the, this keyword into that, so you're going to trigger that. And in the onClick method that you actually implemented, you override because you're trying to override this method on click, and then you get to use the when statement, not a case switch right here. So use the when, which will replace that. So when the view ID, particular view ID you're trying to look at, if the view ID is politics, it's going to trigger the create notification, passing three parameters, four parameters rather. Uh, it's going to uh, pass on the, the politics, uh, which is the, the, the data itself. Or you could see uh, right there from uh, the create notification function. Uh, we have the title, the content, the channel ID, uh, the priority and the notification ID. All these are very, very important when you try to trigger uh, a notification based on the new form of notification that we have. So you need to pass those parameters. We have that for politics, uh, the content itself, so it depends on what you really need uh, that to be. And uh, the priority should be high and uh, the notification ID 100. Cool. We have the channel ID as politics as well. For sports, the same thing. And uh, for entertainment, you could create a low priority. You have three forms of priority, the high priority, the default, and for low. Uh, so you need to create a different notification ID for them so that it's not going to uh, uh, conflict each other. So with that, uh, you could now look at the create notification itself. You create uh, fields, the title, content, channel ID, priority, notification ID, uh, string, 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 integer, integer for priority and notification ID. Uh, so in there, you need to create an explicit intent so that you're going to actually call uh, the notify activity, what activity is going to be called when you click on a particular notification. 
So you have the intent set up this way. You add a flag to clear the top. And now you're going to put a bundle. So you pass a bundle through that. You don't pass. You don't put an extra. Because you're trying to uh, call a pending intent here. Now you're going to put a string. You call the notify. Activity days are a companion uh, field right there in the notify activity. I'll show you that. Where you have the notify title and the notify content. You just use the companion uh uh, Perging, just like the way you use uh, the abstracts when you're dealing with Java. Uh, so you don't really need to initialize, you don't want to call it anywhere it is. So you could use a companion object to do that in Kotlin. Uh, right there, you see that in the notify activity. Look at it there. The companion object, the two companion objects that we need for the title and the content. Uh, now you need to uh, pull the extracts and uh, you need to trigger the intent action view. Now you need a padding intent right there. Uh, you're passing the application context, the notification ID, uh, the intent itself, and the flag right there. Now you need to build this notification. This is where the GC part comes. This is where you could add uh, a sound or different play sound based on the notification you are receiving. So it's not a must that all notifications should have the same sound. Cool. Now you're going to create the builder itself. You set the large icon. What kind of icon are you trying to depict with your notification? So that could be set. Uh, based on any one, any, anything you really like. It could be a bitmap, it could be from the uh, from the internet, it could be probably uh, just uh, an icon right there in the drawing. Uh, you set the small icon as well. You set the content title, you set the text, the intent, which is the pending intent object, uh, the parity is the ILO or default, uh, auto cancel, should do cancel automatically, or you need to actually click on the cancel button to do that. You could also set vibration. Do you want vibration when this notification comes in or not? And uh, not only that, uh, you could also set the play sound. We get there. And now after that, uh, you're going to attach this with. Uh, you test if the SDK is greater than uh, the Android O. Cool. So because uh, we have different kind of purging uh, based on when uh, the notification actually changes uh, when you have the Android O. You need to add the channel ID. But for lower uh, versions uh, from uh, the Android O, uh, you may not need to add an, a, a, a channel ID, but from Android O up, upwards, you need to always add a, a, a channel ID. I've been having this complaint uh, from my listeners uh, on how uh, notifications are not sounding. Those uh, uh, codes you had were way before the Android O actually came up. I should look at the SDK, the build SDK that was, or the target SDK of that particular application. So now, if you have uh, an application that is targeted Android O, uh, the, 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 the latest version of Android 8 and above, uh, you need to actually include uh, the channel ID. That's the new way to actually go by using the Android notification. So that's it. So if it has this, you need to include the channel ID. But if it's just below uh, uh, where we have the KitKat, the Lollipop, you may not need the channel ID. So you just set that up. And you're good to go. Now you could also play notification sound, which you have right there. Uh, you call the ringtone manager. You get the default URI uh, for the type of notification you want. Uh, what type of sound do you really need? So you get that from the default. You could also use a rougher, but you need it to play a kind of polyphonic ringtone or something. Uh, you could also do that uh, using that does kind of flow. Now let's look at the notify activity itself. So this is going to be called when you click on the notification. Uh, we have the component object I've talked about. Now, the uncreate of this particular activity is set the content view to the activity notify, and in there you update the UI. You pass the content that you, the intent rather, that you're expecting from this uh, trigger. That's the pending intent now. Now, on new intent, you need to call the update UI because that's the way you just pass uh, the pending intent. Uh, when you get that, you could pass the extras, which is the notify title, you pass in and the notify content. So you could actually set that to uh, the text uh, view that was created in the notify activity. So it depends. So you could use that to actually do other things in your in your application. So that's just the basic way to create uh, notification in Kotlin and even uh, this is actually supporting uh, notification for Android O upwards and uh, notification for uh, Android uh, uh, APIs that are lower than Android O. And it's also going to play music and it's also going to vibrate depends on how you want it. So you could style it, you could actually do it uh, the way that suits uh, the app. 
So now I'm going to actually test this right there in emulate. So let's see. Let's see how it looks. And uh, from there, uh, we could actually conclude uh, this particular part of this, uh, review, of this tutorial. Right there, we have the emulator. Now it's coming up. Uh, all right, so that launches it, and uh, we have the three buttons as expected: politics, sports, and entertainment. Now, you click on politics. Let's see what happens. The notification trigger. You could see the the title and the, the content itself, and you could see the big notification and the small notification. So when you pull down the drawer at the top of your device, you get to, to see your notification stock. Right there, so you click on that, takes you down to the notify activity, passing those values alongside using the pending intent. So that's just basic. Now it does take a bit backwards. Let's do for spot the same thing should happen. Uh, cool, that's what is expected. And uh, now you could actually click on this as well, and it takes you down to uh, its corresponding activity. So thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial, and I lot are uh, still writing stuff for us which we're going to learn when it comes to Kotlin Android development. I'll be sharing the source code in my GitHub uh, account or in my GitHub and I'm going to actually uh, stick uh, the link right there in the description of this particular video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't go anywhere. Thank you very much.